State Senator Jeremy Cooney says families below the poverty line in Monroe County need help, and this could be a solution. The idea is that we are specifically focused on low-income families, families who have no other form of support. After its proposed two-year trial run here in Monroe County, the plan is to study the cash relief program to see how it affects households who get it. We want to know, for example, what money was being spent on. How was it helpful? The money still has to come from somewhere. Senator Cooney tells me he envisions this trial being paid for not solely by the state, but in partnership with not-for-profits and private organizations. This is still something that's gaining traction, gaining popularity. The idea of a universal basic income is a growing one, says local financial expert Jared Felton of Investment Wealth Management. Keep in mind, this is just a trial run, but the idea of a potential universal basic income on a grander scale, Felton says, would require sizable funding. On a big scale? How is this going to affect the state? It's going to be very expensive. There's no doubt about it. But this, Felton says, is still about mitigating poverty. When it actually hits bank accounts, he says, the money will mean something different for each family. I don't think this is really a... Um a one-size-fits-all for everybody, in a sense, that maybe even would qualify, because it is at random how these 1,000 families are chosen. But I think it could be a good start. So again, at this point, all of this uh, still just a proposal in the New York State Senate in committee right now. But Senator Cooney hopes that this could expand uh, throughout the entire state if successful here in Monroe County. Live in Rochester, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, Jack, thank you. Families would have to apply to this program. At the time they apply, one child in the family would have to be under the age of 18. And by the way, I want to make a note that Jeremy Cooney here, this was an event in which he endorsed uh, Mr. Yang for his recent run.